So it turns out Yoran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is very upset about the elimination of Hezbollah's top commander. And he's been moved to a secure location amid heightened security concerns following a major Israeli strike which again took out Hassan Nasrallah, the leader of Hezbollah in Beirut. Now, this development marks a significant shift in regional tensions as Hezbollah's, Iran's most powerful ally in Lebanon, has long been a central figure in Iran's network of proxy forces across the Middle East. And the strike on Nasrallah, confirmed by Israeli officials, is a major blow to Hezbollah and a significant loss for Tehran. Nasrallah has been a key figure in building Hezbollah into a formidable force, not only in Lebanon, but as a critical component of Iran's Axis of Resistance, a network of groups supported by Iran across the region. Now, Iran's reaction to all of this is actually very telling into how they feel with Israeli intelligence and capabilities, because again, it is being reported that shortly after Nasrallah's death, Iran immediately took precautions, moving the Ayatollah Khomeini to a secure location. And this move does underline the seriousness of the situation as Iran authorities work to protect their highest ranking official. Oh, and by the way, a senior Revolutionary Guard official also has been confirmed that communication with the Iranian military had been restricted, with orders for personnel to stop using devices like pagers and walkie-talkies. This is likely a direct response to previous Israeli sabotage operations, which reportedly targeted and destroyed communication equipment used by Hezbollah. Now, the Iranian government, particularly the Revolutionary Guard, is on high alert. The IRGC, often described as the ideological backbone of the Islamic Republic, has been taking extensive measures to prevent further infiltrations and sabotage by Israeli agents. There are even reports out there suggesting that Iran is now investigating its own military ranks, particularly within the IRGC, for possible Israeli infiltration. And I'm sure none of you are surprised about that. Now let's talk about the impact of Nasrallah. The death of Hassan Nasrallah is a devastating blow to Hezbollah and to Iran's broader strategy in the region. Nasrallah was not only a military leader, but a symbol of resistance against Israel in the United States and the Arab world. And look, under his leadership, Hezbollah grew into a highly organized and military-capable group that has been pivotal to Iran's efforts to exert influence in Lebanon and beyond. And the assassination of Nasrallah will likely have immediate and long-term consequences in the short term. Hezbollah will need to reorganize and potentially choose a new leader. And by the way, as I make this video, the new leader that has been promoted has allegedly also been taken out. Though there are concerns about internal power struggles on the rise of less experienced leadership. But there is a flip side to this because Nasrallah being taken out could actually embolden anti-Israeli factions or personnel to join the ranks of Hezbollah or other resistance groups being ran by Iran. And I should also mention that once again Iran has vowed retaliation in response to Nasrallah's death. The Ayatollah Khomeini issued a public statement. He described Nasrallah as a martyr and promised that his death would not go unavenged. Khomeini's message actually emphasized that forces of resistance with Hezbollah at the forefront would determine the fate of the region. And this rhetoric definitely indicates that Iran is preparing for a retaliatory response. However, we're up to like number five as far as what Iran is going to respond to at this point. Khomeini's vow of retaliation was further emphasized by the announcement of five days of mourning for Nasrallah, a clear signal to the Iranian public and regional allies of the importance of this loss. Iran's officials have also been in close communication with Hezbollah and other regional allies to determine the next steps in their strategy. This coordination suggests that Iran may not act alone in responding to Nasrallah's death, instead relying on its networks of proxies to apply pressure on Israel across multiple fronts. And we already saw that Israel could care less who does the attack. Iran seems to be getting the collateral damage as far as taking a hit for their axis of resistance. And I want to wrap up with this. Iran is actually extremely concerned about infiltration and sabotage. I mean, one of the major concerns for Iran following the recent strikes is the possibility of an Israeli infiltration within their ranks. The destruction of Hezbollah's communication devices, such as pagers, walkie-talkies, has definitely raised alarms about how deeply Israel may have penetrated Iran's proxy forces. 
Iranian intelligence has already launched thorough investigations into their personnel, particularly those within the IRGC, to root out any potential spies or leaks. It's also being reported that the investigation is focusing on mid to high ranking members of the Revolutionary Guard, as these, as these individuals are more likely to be privy to sensitive information. I mean, Iran's military and intelligence apparatus is now on high alert, fearing further sabotage or even direct attacks on key figures within its own leadership. 